Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our full Pinodons playthrough. In our last episode, we got the train at home all hooked up, ready to go for 10, so we just need to send uh, steam and fuel, solid fuel, up that way. Um, the flow rate should be fine. I think there's probably about 150 pipe segments or so in total, which is nowhere near enough to have to worry about flow rate. So should be good on that front. And then the ash is going into a chest up there. So I don't have to worry about the ash. It should just be tin ore coming back. So yeah, let's uh, find a belt of fuel. Looks like we've got some over here. However, I have a lot of coke to use up. So I think what I'm gonna do, at least initially, is just send coke. Because we need to do something with all this anyway. Yeah, we're gonna send a line of coke uh, that they can that they can use up there, and our fluid miners will be doing lines. So five megajoules is a lot times 0.6, that's three megawatts. So this is providing essentially six megawatts of potential power. The fluid mining drills use 0.4. So I could have 15 fluid mining drills on just this rate. So that's more than enough, obviously. Uh, so steam is the next thing we have to think about. So let me craft a few boilers. Oh, crap. You know, I didn't think about that. Hmm. Um, the pa two things. I'm just, I'm used to vanilla, right? Where a boiler makes, I think, 60 steam. Yeah. And so 10 steam doesn't feel like a lot. Here, a boiler only makes 7.5. And so... Uh, shoot. What's the... So the mining speed's 0. 0.5. What was 10? Uh, or... Where is it? There it is. Um... How do I get the info? Oh, you know what? Helmod is just gonna... I already have this in Helmod. That's right. Okay, so... I'm currently running four. This is one of the few times where I'm actually going to use assembler limitation. So I need 20 steam a second. And then if I'm running, if I'm running those on coke and I'm running uh, steam boilers. Also, uh, what's his name? Oh, no, I can't remember his name. The guy who made the update Kiwi. Kiwi, some, he has Kiwi in his name. I wish I could remember the rest of his name, but he made it this awesome update in Helmod so you can actually pick the different temperatures of steam and other different temperatured fluids. So you can finally do all the power things correctly in Helmod, which is very nice. Uh, like the cooling loops in space exploration and all that, they should work now in Helmod. They didn't used to because it couldn't differentiate between the different temperatures. Anyway, I very much digress point is why is that saying three? Oh, I know why um i forgot every time you fire up a new game you have to change the decimals back to two decimals of everything there we go there we go okay so then we change these to use coke Okay, so I need a total of 2.3 coke a second. 1.6 going... No, sorry, 0.32 going to the actual drills themselves, 2 going to the boilers. So, 10 does take a decent amount of power because of the steam. Um... So that should be enough. For the three boilers. Did I craft them? No. 
Okay, so three should be enough. So each one consumes 0.5, is that right? I guess, or sorry, five steam, okay. Five steam a piece. Yeah, I think I'll just have them go this way. Uh, the steam will go over here and then, yeah, we'll just, Leave some some room there for more boilers because we will need a lot more tin at some point. Okay, and now we need water, which unfortunately we are going to have to pipe all the way from down here. I don't remember if there's I don't think there's water here, which would be the only closer spot. We already have a pipe of water somewhere over here. Uh, sorry, I haven't looked at chat in a while. Uh, I did hear they released Factorio on the Switch, which is exciting for a lot of people. Um, not gonna lie, I couldn't care less because the idea of playing Factorio on the Nintendo Switch just sounds really unattractive to me. Um, it sounds cumbersome and clumsy without a keyboard and mouse and the portability of it doesn't really matter most of the time i can imagine if i go on a long vacation i might try it out because you know it's worth a try and have some fun with it but i just can't imagine without all of the hotkeys that i use and the ability the precision of a mouse it just feels like i would play a third as fast and it would be really painful to deal with Also, yeah, factory planner, um, I've just, I don't, people ask me all the time, why don't you use factory planner? And the short answer is like, I like Helmod. Helmod works really well. I have yet to find one situation where I have a reason to use Helmod or use factory planner over Helmod. The only thing that I really wish you could do in Helmod that as far as I know will never be possible is nest further. Um, that's the one thing Factory Planner can do that Helmod kind of can't. Is like, oh, I have, you know, this production line, and within it I have blocks, and that's all you can do in Helmod. I can't go into a block and then make like a sub-block to provide the steam, for example. Um, I wish you could do even just one more would be so nice to have a sub-block because right now it's only two two tiers that can be looked at and even three you know is exponentially helpful so that's the only thing um that's sad yeah a lot of people use factory planner because the ui is easier so they say um i would argue the thing that it can do is obviously temperatured stuff as we just talked about but I need to deal with ash. I forgot about ash. Also, the rates here. I need two inserters. Um, ash, ash, ash. Let's... If I do this, there's literally no point because that's the same amount of squares. So I think I need to do that. Or this. I think this looks a little cleaner. Those need to be whitelist, ash. Okay. That should do it. All right, all right, all right. There we go. And someday, in the foreseeable future, we should see tin coming back this way. Let's see if it works. Yeah, exactly, Brandon. Doing, doing science in one line, and then each pack would have its own block, and then you'd need sub-blocks for different things within each pack. As it is right now, you tend to lean more towards 
um, just doing one science pack per line. To be honest, though, for really, really heavy lifting with calculations, you should use YAFSI, yet another factorial calculator, um, because of a variety of reasons. But it's a separate program, and it's not just as easy to fire up, especially for someone like me who's making content. If I were to use YAFSI, I'd have to, like, change things in OBS and tab over and, change, you know, click over the scene. So it's just a lot more complicated to do something like that for streaming, so I haven't, but at some point, if we get really late game Hynodons, I may, I may try it out, because we might need it. Um, in any case, look at this, guys. We've researched circuits. Are we anywhere close to circuits? No, because the only one of those items on the whole list that we've already produced is air core inductors. <laughs> That's literally it. Um... Wow. And I think I, I looked at these in one of the previous episodes, and it's pretty much the same as Circuits 1 from previous Pinodons. So there's quite a bit here. Because you didn't tend to automate Circuits 1 until you were around green science previously. So let's... Um, I am going to throw it all into Helmod, not for the numbers, but just to have it all in one place. Um, so I'm going to add a line, we're going to add a recipe, circuit, I thought it, hold on, oh, that's not the right buttons, whoops, uh, no, there, references, I thought I changed it in here, maybe not. Oh, you can set defaults for beacons there. I never noticed that before. Factory default level. I also don't know what that means. What's two? Oh, I wonder if that's like it'll choose the second tier of assembler. Is that what it means? Uh, no. Maybe not, because that's level two. I don't actually know what that setting does. So I'm going to leave it at 1 for now, but anyway, the thing that I was trying to find is that as you start typing, it will start sorting. I also don't know really the point of that button. But I there's not a setting that I can see here to do that. Anyway, so you have to hit enter for it to start searching. Anyway, simple circuit board. So the copper zinc battery has some weird stuff. Ceramic capacitor, nothing weird. Air core inductors, I already know about. Oh, wait. There's two recipes here. Those are way cheaper. Only four copper, copper cable a piece. And we would normally need five iron sticks, but instead we can do two ceramic, which is four clay and a very small amount of coke. Four clay and point four coke. Clay is still easy. Well, ish that's a lot of steam okay anyway we'll do a ceramic later i'm just boiling it down to things that i understand i understand ceramic i understand clay um i don't know what's in resistors okay it's the same as it was before coke glass and tin so we needed the tin for that vacuum tubes look like the same as before graphite is just yep pressure furnace coke um, solder is, well, it's gone through a lot of changes, but lead and tin looks like still the basics. Lead we haven't done yet. It's probably still the same, but I just want to double check. Still requires acetylene to mine, most likely. Um, yes, that is the case. 
And acetylene, I believe, is... Oh, yeah, it's kind of a chain to get acetylene. Calcium carbide, which is coke and lime, and lime is limestone baked into... baked with coke in a pressure furnace. And limestone comes from a soil extractor. Okay, that's still all the same as normal Planeton stuff, so I'm gonna actually delete those. Remove that row. Um, okay, so I've dealt with all of the things other than substrate, and then a couple other things up here that I don't know. Substrate, this is also the same. Formica. Interesting. I'm guessing this one's not going to be possible. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're not going to have that recipe until I won. So for now, we get it this way, which is treated wood, sap, raw fiber, and formaldehyde. Okay. Still mostly the same. Formaldehyde is copper and methane. That's the same. Raw fiber, for now, is just a crap ton of wood. Sap comes from sap extractors. Easy enough. Um, we do want to fix this real quick to set that as the default. 72 sap extractors, LOL. Uh, that's what it would require with this, this version of the tree. And then treated wood requires creosote. Okay, so methane, how do we do that? Uh, this, moon drop. And CO2, being carbon dioxide. Moondrop seeds come from this mess. We'll figure that out. Um, I'm going to have to jumpstart Moondrops, which looks pretty easy, actually. Petri dishes are the only thing in there that I'm not comfortable with. Um, okay, so back up to here. Saline water. How's we do that? Oh, stone and water. Easy enough. And zinc plates require zinc, and zinc requires, wait, not zinc reserve, zinc ore. Zinc requires aromatics, that's new. Yep, Mark, you mentioned that. Okay, and then cellulose is wood and limestone. Easy enough, okay. Wait, where did I miss... Did I miss the, um, Petri dishes? Why are there no Petri dishes required in any of this? I thought there were. I mean, I'll need them to do the moon drop stuff. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of Pi 1. Maybe I'm thinking of Pi 1. Where even is Pi 1? Yeah, I'm thinking of the substrate. Sorry, the substrate is where we're going to need Petri dishes. Um, okay. So then, so far, I think... Have I boiled everything down? I think I have, except for aromatics and creosote, which are going to be part of the same overall category. Um... So I can break down naphthalene and carbolic into creosote. And then aromatics are going to come from light oil. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing we've unlocked so far. Oh, I guess there's also this weird tar recipe. Um, yeah. Okay, so that is 350 to 100. We'll see what this ends up being. Um, 
Because light oil comes from middle oil. Cracking middle oil. It also comes from cracking steam. In a DDC. This has a ton of excess naphthalene and carbolic, though, which is going to be a ton of creosote. Um, but middle oil comes from this tar cracking recipe. So I actually, interestingly enough, God, I'm going to need so many boilers. I hope I get a fluid boiler. Please tell me there's a fluid boiler relatively. Um, oil burner. I guess that's what we're looking for. Okay. That's not horribly far down the tech tree. Um, so, at least based on the numbers I was seeing, it looks like I'll get more aromatics if I go straight, um, just straight to it from this old recipe. But other than that, I get nothing. So if I were to use a control click. The other annoying thing is that if you change, like if you control click, it scrolls all the way back to the top. And I, I really, that's maybe one of the more annoying things about Hellmod that I wish you could change. So yeah, that would only be 280 tar, whereas this is gonna be 533. But, I mean, the byproducts have to be worth it, right? We get, I think, way more than enough creosote. Yeah, we get plenty of extra creosote. We get anthracene, which can turn into carbon black, which we'll need for uh, uh, rubber, assuming the future is still similar. And anthraquinone. I'm going to have to look up how to pronounce that one which is used for something later, like stainless steel or whatever. I can't remember. Um, middle oil, that's all it's good for. Pitch is used. Oh yeah, you can crack it into a ton of Coke, like an absurd amount of Coke. Was I seeing that right? A hundred pitch makes 30 coke. Holy crap. Now, how much of that coke goes back into steam? Uh, uh, okay, roughly two... Two seconds of a boiler is 15 steam and is 7.5 megajoules. So four seconds would be three Coke and would be 30 steam ish. So that means three Coke is 30 steam. One Coke is 10 steam. One Coke is 10 steam. So, needing 100 steam to make this recipe requires 10 of the coke back, basically. Whew. Okay, we got there. So, that means this nets 20 coke for 100 pitch. And we, we would be getting 750 in this version. There's got to be another way to make aromatics, I hope. Oh, naphthalene and just naphthalene. That'll be nice. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's anthracene. Oh, crap. I'm getting anthracene and naphthalene confused. I will have some naphthalene. Okay. Got it. Got it. And that recipe 
is uh, win. That's plastic. Okay, that's just bottling it. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be in composting. This one. Nope, that's black liqueur. Oh, wow. Okay, we don't get that till green science. But that will help. Okay. Whatevs. We have more packs that we can use. I'll go ahead and research these things just so they're, they're out of the way. Carrigen. Terrible productivity here. Just terrible. Um, but maybe later that becomes useful. Go ahead and get the steel axe. Oh, yeah, the engine. I forgot about that. And then we can do radar, which I won't be able to do until I have circuits. And then the car, which I will be able to do to go explore for some things. Military, I don't need. And that's the full queue, so we'll leave that there. What's up, Messageide? Yeah, I think Kerrigan probably needs a bit of a, a slight bit of change. Like, this should be a much faster recipe, I think, is the issue. And even then, I think we determined... I mean... There might be a way to make shale oil worth a lot more. But I think it should make more shale oil and take less time. And that might begin to be a decent-ish recipe. For now, it's just completely worthless. Um, okay, well, this is a long list of things to do to get to circuits. So we need to start doing some of them. Which ones shall we do? I guess tar. How do I get tar? Hold on. We haven't determined how to get tar yet. Oh, no, I'm dumb. We have tar. I was thinking of, like, mining tar or processing it from some other thing, but we have just the regular destructive distillation column tar. Okay, so we have tar with that. We're going to need a lot more destructive distillation columns. Uh, maybe moon drops. Moon drops keep falling on my head. Let's look into moon drops. I'll make a greenhouse because I know I'm going to need one. And to make the first moon drop, we need petri dishes. So I am going to need some of those. Uh, agar, petri dish, seaweed. Okay, so I'm going to need seaweed. Which needs 10. Okay, good. 10. We have 10. Heck yeah. Well, actually, we don't. We have... We have the beginnings of 10. Um, I'm actually going to do this up here. This is way too close to the iron. Alright, so we're just going to do this. And this... that and I'll just grab some fuel from over here and we'll get that going uh oh Uh, is that not right? Oh, it is. Okay, it just goes 40 to 4 instead of like 10 to 1 or 8 to 1. Okay, so that should be enough tin, at least for now. And that'll get us some seaweed facility. Growing the seaweed is easy. It's just water. And so then we'll have seaweed to mix with steam in a furnace and that will make agar we combine that with some petri dishes to or yeah empty dishes to make filled petri dish and the filled petri dish is the ingredient to the moon drop itself in a nursery with the codex 
Okay. So I am going to need some more planter boxes. Let me just get ahead of that with the empty planter boxes. And I also need to shift one of these into making some Petri dishes. So I'll do that. One dish is 50 glass. Okay. I'm going to shift both of them to making these for now. I think we have plenty of regular glass. For a while. And then... I'll need some more boilers. Birdie boiler. You know, I'm just going to craft a bunch. I'm going to need a lot over time. And... I think that's pretty much it. Did we get another nursery? No. I need soil and ash. So let me get some soil. Okay, we still got the same art for the moon drop greenhouse. That's fun. Uh, where's soil? I guess I can just steal that. Okay, we'll make a nursery there. Hey, thanks for the follow, Isaac. Okay, so we're going to ignore that for now. Because we will do that one eventually, but that's useless until I have Moondrop. And then the nursery... Wait, what is all of this for? Oh, that's all for a botanical nursery. Holy simoleons. Okay, uh, part of that is I'm out of small parts. And air core inductors. So that should help. Let's, let's, re, let's retry. That's a lot better looking. <laughs> and then we're going to need water over here. So let's get that. Oh, let me get some pipes too. My iron continues to reduce. Fill up another chest. Uh, why am I up here? I don't remember. Pipes, that's why I'm up here. And I'll also grab some fuel. I'll need to fuel some things here and there, so. Do like nine stacks of kerogen, fuel some things. Copper miners are gonna need to be switched around soon. Uh, let me actually, copper mining, that needs to go on my list. Wait, what? Why is that not? Oh, I think there's a setting I need to change on that. Okay, got the nursery. So moon drop is what we need, which needs some water. Petri dishes, which needs... Ah, the seaweed. I need to make a seaweed facility, which needs limestone and tin. Okay. So I need another soil extractor. Oh, I had a bunch of those already, actually. I should have... Let me grab one. Okay, so water. To make limestone. Let that build up. Go grab some petri dishes. Go ahead and take some flowers up to our science. Uh, science is stopped because of stone brick. Interesting. We can fix that. We can fix it. Bob the Builder style. Um, there we go.
How much stone do we need per science? Because what is it? It's four for a planter box, and I want to say it's two planter boxes. Yeah. So that's eight stone brick per pack. That is actually significant. It wasn't that much in my head. All right, and then we got some some little petri dishes here. Grab that one. I think 20 is going to be enough, hopefully. Uh, and then I need a bunch of tin. Okay. And then we're going to need a lot of tinned cable for Moondrop codexes. And do we only need one codex? Yeah, one codex gets me four Moondrops, and four Moondrops is not enough to make seeds. And we get, for five moon drops, we get 2.2 moon drops back. And we get 7.5 seeds. And 7.5 seeds is enough to get for, okay. So I'm only gonna need one codex ever, is what I was figuring out there. So seaweed, one codex. Uh, oh wait, but moon drops are also the hmm, the module. So maybe just doing two is gonna help speed things up a little faster. Okay, and then the seaweed facility is just temporary. Sorry, workshops. I'll move it. It won't be there forever. Okay, we'll get that hooked up. So we'll grow, oh right, I need initial seaweed from the little pond here. I feel like I couldn't grab this before, but that really seems within reach, doesn't it? But I can't reach that. Uh, I hope I can, oh, there's one I can reach, okay. And then I think I might be able to get that one, I'm gonna try. I will need fish eventually too, but not right now. Oh, are you serious? Come on, man. If I did the quality of life uh, reach, basic reach, I could do it. I think one tile would be enough, but all right. Well, we have enough to technically start. Two seaweed out of who knows how many module slots this has. 10. Okay, that's not bad then. Okay, we do need power. I still need to make my patch mod. Alright, that's not too slow. And it makes how many? 10? Okay, perfect. So then we'll just put that in a chest. Perfect. And then the petri dishes need steam. So we will need a boiler. I'm just gonna remove that for now. Look at that. There's even just a giant belt of coal right here. Available for making steam. And that's in a high pressure furnace? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. High pressure furnaces are common. That's one that I should have on my hotbar. They're used for all sorts of things. Okay. Probably another minute on that. Yeah. 3.6 a minute. And then planter boxes. Do I have some left? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think I do. Okay, we'll throw in the two codexes. And then we're gonna need two planter boxes. Or was it four? Nope, just two. And then only four Petri dishes. So 10. Twelve. 
20 seaweed. Well, this will go five times faster once it finishes. Oh, and low power. I just saw low power pop up there. Oh my goodness, where's all our power going? I didn't think we were gonna need more power for a while. Okay. Well, easy enough to fire up some more here. I think. Right? Is my... Is this tileable? Or did I screw something up? Uh, I screwed something up, I guess. Yeah, hold on. If I just have... Oh, but that's not two inserters. Right, 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 right. Okay. Um... I guess I could do it this way? No. Okay, whatever. It's fine. I'll space them out. Right, boilers, steam engines, power, pipes, inserters, belts, and I think that should do it for more power. Do I have stone brick? I do. I want to change that to that. I think that looks better. Um, seaweed is done, I presume. Yes, 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 yes. So fill that up, and that brings us up to over a little over ten a minute, and that should get us our first agar. Which then I don't think we really need an assembler, but we can automate that in here with the old petri dishes and some fuel and then that yeah it really doesn't matter we'll just let that go alrighty seaweed ta-da and then was it two each? Yeah, two for four moon drops. <clears throat> All right, and then we are gonna need a moon drop facility for the actual growing. Oh, and then the seeds themselves, where did those come from? That's also in a nursery. Yeah, I'll make another one. Need a lot of botanical nurseries, I feel like. Oh, this is a long recipe and then 200 seconds. Okay. Fine. Guess you'll make me wait three minutes. And then this guy will make seeds from moon drops, right? Yeah. I do have sap. I don't know if I have enough to get that started. I'm going to need to do that too. And then this loop should be doable because it's just water. So we'll keep the water going here. And then probably the easiest to just have a shared chest, right? Um, no, no, that's not right. This is kind of a mess, isn't it? So, okay, ideas, ideas forming. So it's gonna output, and we are definitely gonna want to filter the moon drops there. We'll throw the seeds over here. Um. There they are. And then we're gonna have a little loop. Let's put a few here. 
So the moon drop things will be on the inside of this. I think we need them to be on the outside. It's still going to be the inside. Uh, and then... Hold on, what? What am I doing? This needs seeds, so we need to constantly be making seeds. Yeah, 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 okay. That goes over here. I don't know what the rate is. I haven't even thought about that. Um, oh my. Oh, that doesn't have the modules yet. Okay, that'll get faster. Um, but this needs like a couple, couple three, um, go in. And then uh, we'll just move all that. What do you mean mechanical inserter won't fit? It will fit. Okay, so that's seeds in. And then moon drops out. And then those will proceed into here. But then this will take priority? Yeah, actually. I think that works. I would wager that that will function. Um, I'm going to do it like this, though, so I can save some up. And get it powered. And we got our first moon drops. We also have a bunch more seaweed I need to chuck to make. Agar, do, 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 do. drops, bam. Oh, right, I need five to get it all started. That's why we needed more. The ratios don't need five to get it started, but the seeds do. Okay, and then as far as more Petri, am I gonna need much more seaweed for now? I think that's all we need it for, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut the seaweed because I think we'll have enough for the time being. And we'll put that over here, along with the sap and the seaweed facility. Kind of put the bio the bio stuff in there, and then I've got some extra petri dishes if I need them, which I don't think I will. We're going to need five for this, so I'll have three extras, and those three will be the modules. And then that guy is going to take a long time. So it's a two and a half minute recipe, and it's going at a fourth of the speed. So it's going to be ten minutes. So once we get that running, I think we will call it an episode. Just gotta wait for this to get done, which is also a three minute recipe. Oh my, okay, what else can I do that's productive? Maybe figure out what I need to get more science. Small parts, iron. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of iron, but we can do more. More flowers. You know, these actually need to build up more. I'm gonna throw a second box there. And a third box up here. Because we use 10 flowers a piece. Um, ash is still fine. Soil is fine. Wood could use some more. And I'm going to grab all the bricks I can. Bricks, bricks, bricks. Wood, wood, wood. Okay, that should be enough wood. For a while. And bricks. Steel's looking decent. 
Um, bricks, bricks. Uh oh, why are you, why are you out? What's happening? Why is this happening? It's literally unattached. How, how did that happen? What, what happened? What has happened here? Actually, I have no idea. What? This is not anything anymore. And this needs to be there. And this is nothing. Okay, well. I screwed with that earlier at some point and broke it. Glad we saw that. Okay, stone brick. Take a bit back and wood. Take a bit back. And you're out of power. Let's... Let's do a stack of carriage for everybody. It should run even longer. Those already ran for a really long time, though. Okay, sweet. So science is actually backed up a little bit, and our moon drops are done. And we begin the first moon drop seeds. Scrumptious. There we go. And there we go. Now that's gonna take a while, but once that finishes, um, then we get four more moon drops, which I think I will throw directly back into here to speed it up for the second cycle, because we already have enough seeds for another cycle. And then those moon drops will turn into more seeds, which then is two more cycles and we're good to go. So that ramps up pretty quickly. Really just needs two or three cycles. Um, and we'll have full modules in like four cycles, because what is this, 20? So yeah, four cycles. We'll get that speed really going a lot faster. And I don't have enough electricity because I maybe never connected this. What's going on down here? Oh, I never connected the water. That's it. There we go. Okay. Sweet. All right, well, I think I'm going to call it a YouTube episode there. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think so far of the new Planetons mod set down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.